بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم my name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore Pakistan and I teach IELTS in Lahore and I teach IELTS all over the world with the help of my online classes and on YouTube as well you can see my videos on IELTS I'm gonna help you out if you are worried about IELTS stop worrying and start living actually okay so IELTS will not be a trouble if you watch my videos because I'm going to explain IELTS inside out and then you will understand each and everything and by the way guys thank you very much for making me a little popular huh <laughs> that's really all because of you because of you sitting there yeah you guys are watching my videos and promoting me further and that's giving me more confidence to make videos and now I'm doing recordings every other day to to make some useful videos for you in this video I'm going to tell you what other topics will the examiner cover in part one now there can be a variety but I'm gonna tell you some of the topics which are going to be covered by the examiner in IELTS speaking part one I'll tell you remember one thing in IELTS speaking part one all the questions are general in nature the nature of the questions in IELTS speaking part one that is all general general means they can talk to you about anything I mean if two friends are talking two people are talking and they're having a sort of chit chat with each other so in the chit chat whatever the questions they can ask about hobbies uh, free time and hobbies hometown music shopping movies these type of things they are going to ask you so I'm going to share some topics with you and then you can just make some questions with these topics and actually they might help you who knows they will ask you this type of question or they can ask you the similar questions in your actual IELTS test and then you'll be happy Asad Yaqub told me the questions and the examiner asked me the same questions so anyways you need to be prepared to answer any general question whatever they ask you in part one and in my previous video I told you whatever the question is you have to answer actual answer good otherwise pretend and answer if you don't have the actual answer then you can pretend and answer so let's see we've got some topics and I'll tell you about these topics and what sort of questions they might ask you they can ask you some questions and I'll speaking about reading material now reading material can be newspapers magazines books these type of things right so they might ask you some questions what's your favorite magazine why do you like that magazine what is so interesting in that magazine how popular that magazine is among the people in your city do children read a lot do you think our reading habits have changed do we need to read more and more what are the advantages of reading books so actually there can be any question about reading material are you clear I mean they can ask you about newspaper magazine book and all you need to do you need to master WH questions what why where when who how okay so if you know WH questions whatever the question is now for example if got this reading material or newspaper book or magazine I can ask many questions and you should make more questions on your own and then there you will see there will be the similar questions now for example if I say what is your favorite book or which is your favorite book right who is your favorite author why do you think reading is important why do you think reading is important how do people read books where do people go to buy the books right what type of books do people like so they can be any question through WH next they might ask you and these are the topics which are commonly repeated in IELTS speaking if you focus on these topics and you focus on the method of making the questions then there is no problem for you in IELTS speaking part one and try to get full score in IELTS speaking part one because it's the easiest one forms of transport they might ask you some questions about forms of transport about traffic about your favorite form of transport about the problems people face about traffic about the traffic system of your country about pollution about things like that then they might ask you some questions about types of buildings it can be shopping malls it can be plazas it can be markets right it can be about your favorite shopping mall what is so special about that shopping mall how often do you go there what do you like about that shopping mall uh, uh, how, how many people visit that shopping mall every day what type of shops are there so it can be anything about types of building historical buildings they might talk about they can talk about the houses 
they can talk about some of the old buildings some of the modern buildings some of the skyscrapers so there can be any question using wh questions about buildings so these are the favorite topics of ielts speaking examiner right which i'm telling you right away then weather weather has always been a popular topic among ielts examiners they always ask about weather what type of weather do you like what's the weather like in your country what do you do when the weather is pleasant how does rain make you feel what type of weather do you like the most what's the climate of your city does it rain a lot does it snow a lot what do people do in winter are there any sports related to winter blah 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 i can make 100 questions about weather right so actually don't go for questions go for topic weather is the topic whatever the question is you have to answer and you can answer guys you can answer and you can answer very well huh feeling good well done excellent then they might ask you questions about types of celebration what are the types of celebration you got to see in your country what type of festivals are celebrated what type of events are celebrated if you have any national events if you have any religious events if you have any other events which are celebrated can be spring season spring festival winter festival summer festival things like that so you need to talk about that and this information must be readily available now you don't need to think if anybody asks you the type of celebration you should tell immediately yes the type of celebration in my country is and then go ahead with that and explain that so i mean you need to think in all directions about these topics so that when you go to IELTS speaking test you don't need to think they ask you a question and you answer they ask you a question and you answer then the most favorite topic of the examiner that is hobbies and interests they will ask you the question like what's your favorite leisure activity leisure is also what you do in your free time leisure means free time so what's your favorite leisure activity is it popular among other people in your city what do you do to entertain yourself do you you do you prefer staying home for entertainment or going outside right how do you spend your free time do other people also do the same things when they have free time how much free time is available uh, right okay so there can be any question about hobbies and interest so you need to consider this seriously hobbies and interest they might ask you questions about that i'm not sure what questions they're going to ask you because the examiners they have a bundle of papers around one to two hundred or three hundred tests they have and you know what do they do they pick one and then they ask all the questions but the topics are going to be similar what i'm telling you right away then they might ask you about types of entertainment types of entertainment in types of entertainment there can be questions about music there can be questions about movies there can be questions about video games there can be questions about sports any type of entertainment and there can be questions and by the way the topic is going to be same in IELTS speaking part one there is going to be one topic or maximum two topics if your answers are really really short then there can be two topics but otherwise there's going to be one topic and four or five questions about that now for example if the topic is about types of entertainment and the types of entertainment the examiner has chosen that is music what's your favorite type of music why do people listen to music where do you get the music from do you think music will become more popular in the future what type of musicians are there in your country do you have any cultural music and then you explain that so types of entertainment they can be anything and by the way this six seven topics which i'm telling you if you prepare them there's going to be something from them because i'm categorizing it and i'm telling you the categories then the types of scenery they might ask you questions about mountains about landscape about uh, rivers about the forests about the areas you've got like seaside beach and these type of things so these are basically uh, eight categories and there can be any question and there can be any question out of this category as well but remember it's not difficult now what i've told you i'm going to summarize that you should know how to make questions 
you should know how to answer questions you should be able to pretend any answer and answer every question as you are answering the question realistically you got to give the examiner a feeling that you are answering the question realistically and remember there is no marking marking criteria for body language but it doesn't mean you start talking to the examiner like this the examiner is there and you're saying yes my favorite color is green i like green color very much because green <laughs> not like that okay because examiner is a human being not a robot it's not computer based test examiner is a human being if you look into the eyes of the examiner if you show enthusiasm if you show excitement if you use proper intonation now what is proper intonation i love going to the beach one way no enthusiasm i love going to the beach no enthusiasm excitement oh i truly enjoy that no excitement i truly enjoy that no excitement right so there should be excitement when you answer there should be enthusiasm there should be proper tone and intonation according to the question these things are actually monitored and try to make active eye contact with the examiner that will help you get a good bench score in ielts asad yako wishes you all the best with a great bench score in ielts if you like this video please go ahead and like it and don't forget to give a comment if you have any question you can even ask a question and i teach ielts online through skype or through whatsapp i provide private ielts coaching if you want to go for that my whatsapp number is given you can contact me and i would be glad to help you out in ielts i will cover all the four modules reading writing listening and speaking so if you want to go for online coaching this is my number and i'll help you with that and if you want to prepare for ielts at home without any teacher even then i'll be your teacher this is the ielts course kit i have made for you it's easy ielts kit easy ielts kit has four books and eight dvds in the dvds there are my videos and i've explained ielts reading writing listening speaking in detail and along with that you will find practice tests as well for great success and i also teach ielts i conduct ielts seminars i conduct ielts workshops across the world if anybody wants to invite me i would love to visit that school college university or whatever the organization is my services are available to conduct ielts workshops ielts training so you can contact me for that as well asad yakub wishes you all the best take care allah hafiz